Hi, thank you for joining me on this short Moselle training video. In this video, I will show you how to retrieve solutions from Express Solver and how to export problem matrix in the standard format such as LP files and MPS files. Let's assume that we have um, a small problem defined in Moselle language. As you see, we have the objective as profit, we have time constraint, we have the wood capacity constraints, and XS and XL are both integers. We are maximizing the profit. Now let's assume that we want to retrieve the value of the objective function after solving the problem. To do so, we can use the command get objective value and we can write it in our run log as you see in this example here. Now, how about decision variables? For decision variables, we simply use the command get solution by specifying the name of that variable. So now, as you see in this model, the constraints that we have are named. Can we get the activity of that constraint or the slack? Yes, it is also possible to get the activity of a constraint and the slack by using the commands get activity and get slack and the name of the constraint. How does this look like in Moselle? To show you how, I'm going to go back to our example. Now, after we maximize our objective, I'm writing the reporting objective function value. So this would get the objective function value after solving the problem, would write it down in the wrong block. How about the decision variable? So the decision variable that we had has two indices. And so for every decision variable, I'm using this command to get the value of that decision variable. Similarly, you can write values of the decision variable at the end of the solve to another array. As you see, I defined another array. Adding dynamic in front of the array um, would mean that some of the combinations of the indices are not being populated. And that, when you are working in larger scale optimization, having dispersed arrays and managing them with this command, with the command dynamic is quite handy. So in this particular loop, if the value of the produce is greater than zero, I would store the value of the um, decision variable into my array. So if I run this, you would see that. And if I go to my array, you would see that only four entries are being populated in a state of produce itself that has 16 entries. So now I would like to show you how you can export a problem matrix. In Express Optimization Suite, there are two paths for generating the problem matrix. If you would like to simply generate an LP format, then you can use export, export prob command. The prob within the parentheses is the name of the file being generated. Or if you were interested in producing the MPS format, you would use the um, load problem and write problem into an MPS format. The X means um, hexadecimal real format. And if you were interested in um, producing the problem in the LP format, but with the scramble names or full precision, I would recommend using a load prop and write prop. But on top of this, the LP format does not guarantee to preserve the column ordering. And for solver comparisons, users should always uh, employ MPS format. In particular, uh, when it comes to the solver performance comparisons, different column orderings can influence the solution pass due to different behavior of pre-solve and heuristics. So it is important to use MPS format um, in such scenarios. Ideally with high precision, um, such as the hexadecimal in this case. So as you see in my files, I have the prop.lp that's using the command export prop. I have the prop lp.lp which I use the load and write command with scrambled names and we also have the MPS format that we use the load and write prop commands. So to summarize this session we talked about retrieving solutions 
We also showed you how to use the export and load and write problem commands to export LP and MPS files.